You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Forgates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich at the Jacklich Law Group. For the second time this lacrosse season, this is the Big Dog Lacrosse Post Game Show from Xfinity Center, double up with the Maryland basketball game. Uh, last time we did this, Maryland beat Syracuse in overtime. This time, Maryland falls at Notre Dame 14 to nine. I'm invested in this, but not nearly as much as one Bruce D. Posner. Go ahead. Well, here's the problem with today. To lose to Notre Dame is no embarrassment. They're the national champions. They lost last week. We knew we were going to get them hot. We're playing there. I'll give you a hundred reasons. But the way we lost was bothersome. We looked so flat. How could you be flat for a game like this? I mean, Eric Maliver had maybe the best game he ever had with a hat trick and an assist. I think Spanos had a couple of goals, but it wasn't there. The offense went there, and they kind of, you know, they held Wurman even, and they kind of broke into our interior defense. Not that Zapatello played bad or Burleigh played bad. Nobody played bad, but they had good ball moving. You got to give them credit, and they wound up with a couple uh, snowbirds. They call them bunny goals. Taylor had four, all in close. Faison who they keep bringing up on the broadcast. Great, great wide receiver, played a pretty good lacrosse game at three. McLean, who had the ball in his cross for maybe four seconds, gets three goals, holding on the ball for four total seconds. They, they carved us up inside. They scored in close. Very uncharacteristic defensive game from my point of view. You can call them flat, but when that's going on, it does take care out of you. And Maryland did come back. They came back, they got it to 12-9. to nine. However, Jack McDonald delivered the hit of the day when he almost knocked out, all right, Pat Cavanaugh. But that didn't help us. In fact, that hurt us because we had a penalty and it just got the game over with quicker when we cut it to three. Look, world's not coming to an end. I said it every time you listen to me on the post game. You can't have a schedule like this and not expect you're going to lose a game or two. It's just not going to happen. I mean, we've got Brown next week and then we play Virginia. And then the Big Ten, the Big Ten season starts, and we now have a Hopkins team that's in the well, top five. Well, let's go to break. We'll pick up on that. This is the Big Dog Lacrosse Post Game Show. Maryland loses at Notre Dame today. The biggest difference in a truck accident versus a car crash is the investigation that the lawyer has to do right from the beginning of the case. Number one is obtaining the log books of the driver to show that the driver was not rested properly according to federal law. Uh, investigating through the black box and getting an expert to figure out from the black box of the truck, the speed of the truck, or where the truck had been. So it's just different type of handling. With Viner Forgates, you've heard the phrase, we make your company work. What that means to us is that we take care of every ticket, every call, all the time. If you're tired of waiting on hold for tech support, or it takes too long for your tech support company to get back to you in an email, try Viner Forgates, for making your company work is our primary mission. Bruce, you brought up and you've caught some flack on fans lax and other places like that, that you think of the Big Ten between Hopkins, Merrill, et cetera, best in the country. And as Hopkins won that game, against Virginia yesterday, you reminded me again that you said this could be the best group in the country. I thought Hopkins was going to beat Virginia, and I thought Maryland would beat Notre Dame. I was halfway right the wrong way, but Hopkins is back, all right? And don't be shocked when we play Hopkins on April the 20th at Homewood Field if it's not number one against number two, and who they are doesn't matter, or certainly three against four. And Penn State beat Yale. Yeah. In other words, Please don't sell me the ACC because Notre Dame beat Maryland today. ACC just went through a horrendous stretch. Penn beat, beat Duke, and Duke looked bad in the rain. They did not look like Duke. No, they did not look like Duke. But listen, you know, I worry about Maryland. And we lost today. We're 4-1. and The world's not coming to an end, although it feels like that to me because that's how I take Maryland across. But uh, it wasn't. It just didn't happen today. Well, they didn't, and I think today's one of the few days we're not having to go to a guy on the offense actually mattered. 
Erksa and Murphy go 0 for 10 for shots. Yeah, Malver had a good game, but I just didn't feel anybody else pretty much said, give me the ball. I'm going to I'm gonna do this. So and Number one, we didn't get enough shots off. We got beat on shots. We got beat on shots on goal. We got beat on brown balls. We got beat every win. And McNaughty had nine saves. He gave up 14 goals. Yeah, but, but half of those goals, the guy was three feet away and wide open. It, you know what? You're right, except he had nine saves and gave up 14 goals. The stats don't lie, but there's reasons why. Yeah, I know, but still, he's made incredible saves. And not, not today. Well, speaking of incredible, yeah. that first goal that Kavanaugh had, where he shot it over his shoulder and over... Oh, oh, I mean, I I don't like Notre Dame, but my goodness, that was Kavanaugh, a gorgeous goal. Hey, Kavanaugh, oh. Kavanaugh had two goals. If, you would have thought he might have had five goals, but nobody and does that against Zap. And his brother had a goal and three assists. Right. And they set up their guys perfectly. Listen. They were good. They here's were the great. bottom line. Here's the bottom line. Yeah. The better team won today. They were better. There's nothing to say. Yeah, I'm upset. You're upset. Every Maryland cross team is upset. But it happens. You've got to move on. Because next week you got Brown. Then you got Virginia. Virginia, 3 o'clock. Right. So it doesn't, you know, it's not going to get easier. No. You know, but, and now you've given some teams a formula of how to attack inside. Maryland will fix that. That will not happen no again. No and, and with that, when you said there's no more left to say, I'll go with that. This has been the Big Dog Post Game Show. This is our life from the Xfinity Center. As Jameer Young waves to the crowd off to our right, we will bid you adieu from College Park.